really is a beautiful day here and we're at Serene Lake in Chiang Mai. Good morning from Thailand chaps. Today I'm just going to be talking about my training schedule for the next year, for 2019. I've been slacking for quite a few weeks now, I'd say it's been about 8 weeks. Where I've just really not been doing much, probably like fucking 5 hours a week, 6 hours a week or something and hardly any intensity, very little intensity. And as a result, my fitness has gone down. I did an effort around the lake this morning and it's been like uh, 20 seconds slower. So fitness has definitely declined. And I don't like to stagnate or just uh, decline in life. So I want to pick it back up. Um, I've declined enough. I'm fucking 74 kilos now and uh, slow around the lake or just low fitness in general. I just want to pick it up again. So... The way I want to do that is by riding short rides throughout the week and um, a long ride on the Sunday, on the weekend. So it's, it'll probably be like one, one and a half hours a day during the week. And then on the Sunday, a long ride counts as anything from three hours to five hours. And in order for me to be at my fittest with a minimal amount of training to recover at my best, I have to get off caffeine. Caffeine definitely affects my performance negatively in many ways, or at least coffee does. Uh, tea not so much, but coffee definitely. So for me, as I've said before on this channel, coffee uh, makes my uh, iliac artery endofibrosis flare up. And I also find that my sleep quality is significantly reduced. And as you know, as an athlete, you can't have your sleep quality reduced and you also can't sleep less if you want to be at your best, if you want to recover at your best and if you want to have that fucking sharpness on the bike. So yeah, that's my training for the next couple of months this year and yeah, it's going to be fun. I just like to maintain, you know, uh, get to a high level of fitness and maintain that. To be more specific, what I mean by the short rides during the week is I'll be doing two high intensity sessions and the other rides will be easier endurance pace or recovery rides. So for the high intensity sessions, I'll either be doing VO2 max efforts, anaerobic efforts, or even sprints, and uh, also some threshold. So it's anything that's at threshold pace or above. So I also like to get a mix of different energy systems. So I like to do, let's say, VO2 max on a Tuesday and threshold on a Thursday, just as an example. And also, objectively speaking, what is a high level of fitness? For me, I would say a high level of fitness is 5 watts per kilo for 20 minutes and at least 6 watts per kilo for 5 minutes. The bike life is the free life. This is ultimate fuel for recovery, high water content, high fiber content, and high sugar content, high nutrient density too.